Okay, so here's what I did. I first had this idea when I was playing with Mocha's insert feature and thought it would be a fun way to use it. So I grabbed an old tablet, which doesn't even work anymore actually, and took it out to my garage studio where I filmed the green screen footage, touching random places on the screen. I had already shot the photo of the car, so I tried to remember how I held the camera and shot it from roughly the same position. Notice I taped a couple of playing cards to the screen. That comes in later. Next I took that car photo into Photoshop and very carefully made a selection of just the green metal of the car. I made a layer with just the metal body and saved that out with a transparent background. Once that was loaded into HitFilm on its own layer, I used hue and saturation to change the color, matching the changes to the timing of the screen taps in my video. So now I had my background clip, and I composited the green screen footage on top of it. Now time for the tablet screen. I had previously made a 3D scan of that car, so I loaded it into 3D Coat and did the retopology, making a low-res version of it. When I marked the UV seams, I was careful to place edges around the border of the green metal to make it easier later. After exporting the model and textures, I loaded the texture image into Photoshop and made versions of it with the same colors I used before. I loaded the car model into Lightwave 3D, made a simple background, and rendered 360 animations with each color, making sure to leave enough room for the buttons on the right side. While I was at it, I modeled some quick buttons with the colors and did a still render of them with a transparent background. In HitFilm, I brought in the renders of the car and the buttons, added some text, and rendered all that out at half size since I knew I'd be shrinking it into the tablet screen anyway. Speaking of which, in Mocha Pro, I brought in my footage of the color changing car and me with the tablet. I tracked the playing cards that I had taped to the screen and then use the insert module to put my screen footage on the tablet screen. Finally, all the footage came into HitFilm where I needed to draw a mask around my hand that was tapping on the buttons. All of this took about a week, so now you know how I did it. And knowing is half the battle. Since you watched all of this, how about hitting that subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you get notified of all my future videos. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.